guy, but he did well at his first land actually for Elevate. And so I think they have like a lot of young potential on this team. And um, I'm curious to see how they'll do in Pro League next season. But I, I definitely think they should have no problem making it there. And I think tonight will be the start of that. And I think it should be an easy road for them, especially on this map. This is a map where they really just crushed the X Nylum roster at the Cologne qualifiers. And they, they definitely feel comfortable with it. We've seen them put a good result on it. They picked it. So this is definitely going to be probably an explosive start for Elevate. And certainly looking good to take this one here. But we are into our first map here, which is Cobble. So uh, we will get things started off. Elevate will be over on the Terrace side first. Nexus Esports starting off on the CT side. And we are getting right into it here. As it looks like the B hit is coming. Aikis starts things off. Drone is able to exchange with him. So both teams down a play right now as this uh, push onto the site continues. Naf finds a headshot. Rush was able to get one as well. So it's a 4v2 here. Certainly looking good for Elevate. But Ye is on the flank right now. Got some shots in XP3. I don't know how he missed uh, that easy kill there. Wasn't even looking at him. But regardless, Elevate does pick up that first round here. Yeah, I mean, really well done. Just kind of a quick B execution, really fast attack on the Skyfall, and just able to trade effectively there. I think almost everyone got a piece that round except for Daps, where I just had the 2K. So definitely looks like a good team effort all across the board, splitting that B side of the map and only dropping a couple of players. And he'll go ahead and upgrade to a bunch of MAC 10s, the cheapest SMG you can get on the T side, uh, just racking up that, that money bonus that SMGs are going to give you for kills. And they do pick up one AK on to Rush. So yeah, definitely just playing into the SMG meta, trying to rake up the dollars. But the bomb already goes down here. Nice play from Ye at long A, but quickly traded in L Elevate. You know, have a pretty solid man advantage here. And they are going to take this bomb into the A bomb site. And right now, Drone is having a battle with Nav. Actually, Drone and uh, hey, it's Wade. I'm going to call him Wade for now, but they uh, kind of crunched in onto Naf there. So it's a three versus three. Daps is able to get Hero Time, though. So two versus three. Bomb goes down uh, on the site, but Wade is able to grab Daps as well. So it's actually. Uh, all evened up at a two versus two, and Nexus uh, was able to and grab they, onto a couple of uh, Mac 10s here as well. Yeah, exactly. I was about to bring that up, and we got to it. It's just a two Mac 10s, so they're actually going to try to go for this retake. Unfortunately, Akis already takes down Drone and Rush there to, to get the final kill on Wade, and just, you know, Elevate just, you know, kind of using their, their firepower to get into A, and Dats had a nice little flank there from Skyfall and disrupted the rotation a bit, and it still got kind of close, though. I mean, Nexus made it interesting and, and definitely maybe you know, made it that, that, that uncomfortable round, you know, where Elevate was maybe hoping for kind of an easy win. Uh, and so that does at least play into the long-term economic, uh, you know, situation here for Elevate. They're not able to build up a huge, huge bank. In fact, some of their guys are already down to like 1K or below. So that's going to play an effect later on. If Nexus can win the opening gun round, they might be able to force Elevate right onto a save straight away. I elevate here up 2-0 to zero at the moment. Uh, if they're winning that pistol round, and of course they are... Uh, they have the big weapon advantage on them right now. Looks like they want to take another B hit. Certainly the easier of the two sites to go for on this map. Akis was able to get thrown at drop down, but Savior will exchange out with him. So four versus four as the B push commences. Daf finds two, finding three with the AK. Naf is able to finish off Yay or to secure the round for Elevate here. So they will go up three to zero as we get ready for our first gun round. Right, and that time, you know, much cleaner, not losing nearly as many people, so not as much rebuying, and now they actually have enough bank to where even if they lost, they would still be able uh, to buy. So, you know, getting past that, that potential economic issue, and but they're on the T side now in gun rounds, and I'm, I, like, honestly, in the NA scene at least, and maybe you can vouch for this too because you've casted some cash games, or excuse me, some combo games last season, it seems to trend a little bit T-sided in the NA scene quite often, so, I mean, that's definitely a situation where I don't think Elevate has any problems. This was their map pick, so they did not get to choose the side, but I don't think they're too worried at all about being T-side first. Ooh, Ye was trying to peek down towards that A long, got knocked down to just 8 health without really making much of an impact on the health of any Elevate players, and uh, we see a few lined up towards B long as well here. As I said, it is certainly a bit favored of the two sites. Hero Town's actually able to get daps in through a bit of smoke there, but uh, Rush is able to exchange on one frag. Wade pops the head off of Rush, though, so it is four versus three here in favor of Nexus. They have that right. one-man advantage, but Naf is lurking around on that A side. Yeah, I mean, Naf is going to be one of those other extremity players. He likes to play a lot of solo positions, and they're going to be relying on him a lot now to try to find a pick in the A bomb site since Daps' lurk at B kind of got shut down in a rush, was only able to come up with one frag on a Skyfall drop, so they didn't really get as much as they had hoped for out those entries, but Naf slipping into A, able to grab the frag. It's back into a three-on-three. -three. He's going to control the site while that bomb makes its way in. 
smoking off the balcony, cutting off on those rotation points, and that bomb is going to be able to make its way in, and they have a pretty favorable 3v3 at this point. Map did a good job of opening up that site for his teammates, grabbing control of that as Elevate still working their way in here. Haven't quite gotten the bomb down yet, but now it is out there, and Aegis is able to grab Ye. So three versus two. Aegis picks up two, taking out Wade, and now it is just Hero Town left alive. He's over towards these double doors here. Uh, kind of pinned down at the moment. Will be very, very tough for him to get any entrance in here. He's got to find this frag on Aegis. Unable to. Gets a 3k for his troubles, Aegis does, and that will set Elevate up here with a 4-0 to zero lead. Yeah, that was really Nats making up a heads-up play when it was a 3v4 to be able to work into the A bomb site, grab control of that area. Then Akis follows up with a nice little hat trick there on the support from the mid-slope. So really good recovery there from Elevate, even though the initial exchange didn't go in their favor. They still, you know, found a way to secure the round, and they immediately forced Nexus onto a save. So a great opportunity to just go up with a big 5-0 lead. And like I said, nothing too surprising. I think we all kind of expected Elevate to have a little trouble here with Nexus. And it, that seems to be the case so far. But we'll see if Nexus will have their next chance, next gun round. Already opened up the B-bomb site, though, as Elevate this particular round. XP3 and Dabs are both able to grab one. Aegis will get one as well. A few exchange frags actually coming back from Nexus right here on their save round. They've evened it up at a two versus two. And, uh... Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Yeah, <laughs> the double nade. Kill. Oh, that's brutal, man. Wade is the last one up. XP3 collects up on a 2k there at the end. 3k in total on the round. And they were looking good there for a minute. Dust, Nexus, they evened it up yeah, well. I mean, but that double nade, man. They're doing, yeah, that's always, that's rough, right? Like, the first thing comes in, takes you down to low HP. You're like, there's no way he has another one of those. <laughs> yeah. And then he finds one on the platform and tosses that one, too. You're just like, well, shit. Like, <laughs> how does he have two grenades? What happened? I thought there was a limit here. But, like I said, he picks up a fallen teammates, and uh, that's just that's just kind of unfortunate uh, the way he was playing. But, yeah, Nexus at least still got some kills there and forces some rebuys. It actually puts Daps into pretty low money, and even Rush is looking a little bit fragile. So, at least they're somewhat keeping the economy in check. And, yay, aggressive at long. Yay, again, able to get a kill, but immediately traded by Akis. However, Drone also found a kill on the map here on the other side. And so they do have this one-man advantage. Last time around, Elevate still found a way to bring back into it, though. So I'm curious if Nexus can hold on to this advantage and actually shut out a round. Had some very close ones here so far, but still unable to collect that bot on round. XP3 is going to be at that drop down. Wade was on to it. He was able to find that frag. So now they have a two-player advantage. Certainly looking good to take their first round of the game here, but they still have to deal with Daps and Aegis. He got some good shots off onto uh, somebody down there. I believe that was Savior. Knocked him down to 17 health, but he did keep himself alive. He'll try and chase it down. Daps is there, actually, to come up on that A long side and collect up on the frag. So two versus three now. They've made it. Still Nexus with that one-player advantage, and Drone is playing inside of the A site. Quite sneaky. Maybe he'll be able to find something. They also have a couple rotates coming over from Balcony as well as the doors there. Drone finds one. It's just Aegis alive and Wade able to take care of him from the balcony side so nexus putting themselves on the board here making it five to one yeah that time being able to retain them in advantage i mean you saw a couple of rounds ago they were able to trade into a 4v3 but they still kind of allowed you know naf to, to tear apart their a bomb site and, and open it up uh here this time around you know they went on full lockdown mode i mean yeah akis was able to make a little bit of a play there he did get a kill he did you know start getting it dangerous but he had drones sitting there at the back of the site the whole time playing patient playing a nice crossfire with the balcony player and being able to close out the round. So, well done. They do actually have a situation now. If they can win this round, they'll actually force Elevate into a save, but also their own economy has been reset. So, whoever wins this round, it's going to be worth two, basically. And so far, we do have Nexus getting the better end of the deal. Once again, getting an early four on three, mm -hmm. and they're capitalizing on it. Now they have a four on two, so this is definitely well done. Uh, good stuff from Ye here so far. Hero Town was able to pick up on a frag. They've set themselves up. At a four on two advantage here. It's just NAF and XP3 left alive on the side of Elevate to work a little bit of magic. They have about a minute left on the round and the bomb in their possession looking like they want to take it towards this B site, but they have to deal with Hero Town here. They've smoked it off. They have some rotates coming over as well. Should be able to put them in the meat grinder here. Hero Town collects up on both of them and gives Nexus yet another round tier. Two in a row, making it five to two. Yeah, and like I said, forcing Elevate probably onto a save. Naf does have a lot of money at over 7k, so he can maybe drop some stuff. And yeah, they will actually try to force up here. We do see Naf dropping an AK, dropping a, a CZ, and then keeping an AK for himself as well. So they still do have something to work with here. But a loss here definitely leads to a full save at that point. I mean, they're going for a little bit of a force buy here, trying to fight right back. They know they have Nexus's money in kind of a fragile situation, so they want to try to punish that. Uh, but this is a little bit risky. Like I said, not quite a full bot. They didn't take the save. 
And so this could definitely kind of ruin their economy if this doesn't work out. And it looks like the B push is getting set up from the side of Elevate. They've certainly uh, looked to take that, and they have all five players lined up over at B Long here. So uh, they're getting ready to go. You can see all the players with those nades in their hands just getting ready to go. Hero Town gets a wall bang shot on the nap, though, so he will open it up just a bit for his team. That's actually an AK down on the side of Elevate. And here oh, comes no, Wade Angus. and Yay are both able to just... Uh, pick up on a couple of frags here. Daps gets taken out by Hero Town. It's just a disaster on the round for Elevate. They went for the force by completely unsuccessful, and Nexus has now yeah. picked up three in a row, Dust. Yeah, and like I said, now Elevate has no choice but to take a save here. Uh, and in fact, uh, no, they'll be able to buy next round. Uh, but they definitely have to take a save here. It's just all Nexus to get back into the game. Now it's just them getting caught, you know, trying to set up for nades. They weren't quite covered by that smoke. You saw Hero be able to fit in an op shot onto one of the players trying to set up a smoke. And then Akis actually just got, I don't know how he died in the fire. I thought he would be able to get away, but I guess somehow he got trapped inside of it and died. And so that was kind of just two, you know, unanswered frags from Nexus. And that gave it a huge advantage. And now we see on the Eco Elevate just trying to rush into B, but already taking a buttload of damage. But Nap does, in fact, find an entry, and they're starting to close the distance on Hero at the show with the op, but he's getting bailed out by the rotation. He's be able, to, able to stay alive, and that nade he's got in his hands, that could that could ruin everything, but you won't need it. We'll just get some op kills instead. I was going to say, you could have gotten like a 3k with that nade right there, but, uh, you know, like you said, he, he did the work with the op anyway. He had some teammates around to help him out, so after a rocky start on the side of Nexus, they were down 5-0. Uh, they've managed to claw themselves right back in here, making it four to five. But Elevate is able to buy up with guns this round. So, uh, you know, we'll see if they can get themselves back on track. But uh, still not uh, the best in, in money situation for them at the moment. Nex is certainly looking much better. Uh, but Absolutely. they do have that loss bonus going for them. Elevate does. They're once it's just going for a really fast B-Rush here, throwing the smokes off. And they do have a couple of Molotovs as well to flush out some different spots. They're just committing all into this. But once again, they're starting to get shut down. <laughs> Savior playing that that angle really well in the statue gets a couple of frags and this is getting shut down let's snap and open it back up oh he was able to get one he knows that hero town is just behind that rock over there he's gonna molly him out see if he can draw him out from behind it he's doing the damage to him and he's gotten back just far enough but nap got weighed hero town was able to exchange though so two versus three and they are trying to desperately hold these guys off they don't have much hp at all and they have three nexus players just closing on to them they've managed to get the bomb down but xp3 is gonna fall to hero town there and rush needs to make a miraculous play able to get one but yay will take care of him in the end on the exchange. Nexus will defuse, and they have tied this bad boy up at 5-5. Five to five. Yeah, I'm not really sure what, what the thought process there was. I mean, Elevate just kind of trying to force the issue at Long B again. They haven't had any success there. Either Hero Town's op has been shutting them down, or you, you see Savior, they're actually playing really well with the rifle. So I don't think they can just rely on just their raw skill and just pushing into a site. Uh, like Savior and Hero are just playing too well for that to work right now on that side of the map. And with them investing money into as many Molotovs as they had, I thought they'd maybe try to set up for something a little bit more technical, I guess you could say, just like just like a little bit more tactical. But instead, they just tried the, the, the ball out there, and it just didn't work out. They still, you know, they're at maximum loss bonus now. They're able to put a full buy together. They have NAF on the op instead of XP3, in fact. So a little bit different. We do know NAF likes to pick up the op at times. So he's been the secondary op for many teams he's played on. Uh, but he's going to take it up this time around by himself, and we'll see what, what type of openings he can find. But Aegis trying to enter into mid-slope, gets taken down by Ye, no one there to trade, so Elevate's starting to fall apart here in these last few rounds. They really are. I mean, uh, they're just winning a lot of these 1v1 battles, and uh, Ye just won that one right there, so they have that one player advantage. Elevate desperate to try and claw themselves back in here. Nexus's economy is looking uh, not too shabby either. Ooh, Savior's in behind this box here, but they were onto it. They were spamming the crap out of that thing. He's down to 14 health. They want to try and take this B site again, elevate it looks like, but they haven't been too successful with it as of late. And Rush tries to come out of drop down. Ye was able to uh, grab him. So that will now be a five on three in favor of Nexus. Uh, looking yeah. quite good here. I think just looking like they're on the same page at this point. I mean, I, that was kind of a weird timing for us to come down the skyfall, and he didn't get anything with it, and that puts him at a huge disadvantage. We still have Daps, you know, holding people here at the b bomb site. The rest of us brings the bounce. So this is actually oh. a successful lurk from Daps, you know, holding people away. But Hero, stuck inside A by himself, playing the back, not able to get anything. XP3 will get the bomb planted, so great adjustment here from Elevate, despite having some things not go their way over at B, and especially at that skyfall area. They were able to transition, throw a bit of a fake, and, and now they could secure this round. They have a 2v3.
Every player out on the field right now is very hurt. Nav had the off over on that far side. He got taken out, though. XP3 got one, but in the end, Wade comes through to finish him off. All they need to do, all of them just need to breathe on each other, and they could have died. And in the end, Nexus uh, was huffing and puffing. So they got they got the uh, now 6-5 to five lead. Actually, six in a row from Nexus, looking much more solid now. Yeah, like I said, I feel like Elevate just, I don't know if they're just not on the same page or if they've just kind of hit a wall or what it is, but they definitely kind of let up here these last few rounds. I mean, I know some of the rounds have been quite close. Like even that one, they had a bomb down in like a 2v3 situation, so that's like still a winnable situation, but didn't come up with it. As you said, everyone low on HP and they just weren't able to hold. Elevate, though, still being able to buy. As I said, that max loss bonus has kicked in for a couple of rounds now, so money's not really the issue. It's about trying to find a win and doing so comfortably. You know, not having to do a lot of rebuying when your economy gets reset, and that's kind of the big thing they have to deal with here. And they're putting a lot of emphasis on the A side of the map this time around. Rush just lurking B from Skyfall, and this is a much better round for them. Uh, they finally have a player advantage on one of these rounds uh, within the past six. Rush is able to find another one here. He's got a 2K on this round. XP3 comes through mid and knocks the dome off of Savior there. So it's just thrown one versus five. Not able to find that frag either. XP3 will collect up. So, ru or excuse me, Elevate breaks the breaks the losing streak finally. They had lost six in a row, but they've tied it yeah. straight back up here at six to six. Yeah, that was just a, a, a much better timing from Rush on Skyfall and just having more of an impact from that position that time around on the lurk, cutting off that rotate from B and just some good work from the rest of the guys over on the A side of the map to get some, some more favorable exchanges and actually open some things up for themselves. And yeah, as you said, after a scoring drought of six rounds in a row, they finally do get around and they don't have to do a whole lot of rebuying. So that, that's really, really good that they only lost, I think, like one player that round because their money is definitely tight that it's been reset. Uh, so that's that's certainly a, a good start here, but we'll see if they can follow up. They're running basically the same exact tactic they did last round. Rush, lurking the Skyfall. They're working three guys up the long air right now. XP kind of holding the mid slope by himself. He will slip up later maybe. And uh, they're just, you know, just suffocating the same side, and it's working out well for them. Ooh, yeah, he was over there today. He gets taken out by Nap as well. So five on three it is. Elevate looking good to pick this one up as Hero Town and Wade have to... Uh, come up with something big if they want to win this round and elevate will put that bomb down over on the a site as well and i'm not sure if they're even going to try for this i mean wade's over at the double doors did get xp3 he was getting aggressive daps will collect up on him hero town able to grab daps as he comes through the doors but rush was lurking from behind in the depths there and elevate picks up that round they now go up seven to six yeah, so they've been able to, like, you know, they've been shifting their emphasis away from, you know, the B area where they weren't having much luck at Skyfall or their long B rushes weren't really panning out as well. And now, like I said, they, they've, you know, refocused their efforts over to the A side of the map. They've been splitting long A and mid slope quite well. They've been using rush and Skyfall instead of an entry onto B as kind of a lurker to cut off rotates. And that's just been working out much better for them the last couple of rounds. But now they are doubling to the B bomb site. They do have Nexus on a save, so this is going to make it much easier for them to be able to entry into the site. Actually, they're already spotting one at the statue and doing a good amount of damage. That nade may, in fact, finish them off, and it will. And here comes Elevate into the B site. And they've already managed to find four frags. It is just yay left here in a one versus four. Didn't really have much to work with on that round. He's just got that uh, CZ in his hand. So uh, that will be another round over to Elevate here in just a minute once that bomb blows up or they manage to hunt down Yay at some point. But uh, he just wants to try and maybe cause a little bit of a ruckus if possible before this one's over. But I think uh, Nat might be able to grab him here. He does uh, with a CZ of his own. So Elevate uh, getting a couple straight back onto the Nexus team now, 8-6. to six. Yeah, they've won the last three rounds in a row. They've, you know, made sure they're going to at least win the half here. And so they put up a good, t a good T side. I mean, this is kind of the numbers you expect to see on T side Cobble, at least in the NA scene from all the, the, the Cobble matches I've seen in league play. This is kind of, you know, kind of what you expect on average. I mean, you do, even sometimes see teams put up like nine or ten rounds on T side uh, Cobblestone in the NA scene. So this is this is kind of like back to what you expect. But a little bit of aggression here from Nexus at the mid doors. They're going to be able to get a couple of picks off of this. And they actually have the man advantage once again in a four versus three. Your town's over on that A long. He's He's ailing at the moment, 15 health on him, but uh, right now Naf is just lurking towards that B-side. He's got Rush falling up, but a nade lands right on Naf's head. I'm not sure exactly who threw that, but 
Got a big one regardless. Naps able to find the frag on the savior, and he's still lurking up top there. Wade knows he's there. He's just trying to get that headshot angle onto him, and Rush is going to be there to take care of him. Naps finds yet another onto Drone, and Elevate looking good here. Hero Town is the last guy alive for Nexus with just 15 health as they put that bomb down on the B site, and this is the last round, so he is going to go for it, but uh, I'm not expecting too much. <laughs> yeah, he would have to be a hero. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. Oh, oh very did you, clever. Did you, did you, I know, man. I'm, I'm literally the best at that kind of stuff. But <laughs> Elevate wins the last four rounds in a row to make it a 9-6 to six half after they also had the first six rounds on the half. A little bit of a drought there. I think they just... They started to meet some good defense on the B side of the map, I feel like. So they kind of shifted gears. They went back to the A side of the map. They got some rounds. They started to whittle away at Nexus's economy. Uh, and then from there, they had a much easier time taking into B. Not only that, but you also notice they kind of shifted NAF over to entering on the B side of the map, whereas on some of their earlier B takes, he was kind of you know, playing the extremities over towards mid or on the A side of the map. And they kind of took his rifling skills and put it to use on opening a B whenever they wanted to start shifting executions there. And that worked out much better for them. Uh, so good adjustments, basically, by Elevate. They kind of saw what wasn't working for them. They let them drag on for maybe a bit too long, but then they, they did finally make the adjustments. They made a good read, and they, they fixed it, and then they got some more rounds at the end, and now they have a 9-6 to six lead. So looking sharp, you know, for the most part. A little bit of a, you know, rough patch in the middle, but they got the job done. Yeah, yeah, they got the job done. Better late than never on those adjustments, I guess, as they say. So because of that, like you said, they go up 9-6. to six. And uh, Nexus, though, I mean, I don't know if it was more of a blunder on Elevator. Nexus was really showing up. But, I mean, I, they they put up a better half, I'd say, than I was expecting yeah, initially I mean, off the start. There was a couple of different instances at B where they just put up a good defense. Like you saw Hero Town with the op have, like, one really big round on, on a gun round that Elevate was trying to do, like, a slug execute on B and, and kind of shut it down. I think he actually even caught, like, a free frag on someone setting up to throw a set smoke, and, and that kind of opened up the round in their favor off just that one play alone. And then you saw Savior come up really big with the rifle one time. So it was a couple of individual efforts on the B side of the map that, that helped Nexus jump back in the game. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. They, I think it's a mixture of both, basically, kind of what you were referring to. Was it, you know, a lapse from Elevator, Nexus stepping up? And I think there was definitely a combination of the two because you did see some good plays from Nexus. Well, we are headed into the second half here. Change of sides. Nexus will head on over to the T side. Elevate will go over onto the CT side. So six to nine it is uh, in favor of Elevate at the moment. We'll see if Nexus can come out with a strong pistol round here. Uh, it was Elevate that won the first pistol round on the first half. And uh, now we head into the second. We'll see if Nexus can do the same thing that Elevate did to them on the T side as Hero Town already is leading it up towards that B side. The bomb is working towards the B side as well. And Savior Look gets an stack. opening pick very early, getting uh, getting daps. But they do have a lot of guys over on this B side right now. Elevate does four of them sitting inside of the B side. I'm sure Nexus is completely unaware of this. And uh, they may be in for a hurt in here. Yeah, and because of that kill, the XP3 has been to shift over to A. Now even Akis is starting to make his movement. And even Rush is kind of in between. So that one pick by Savior has really you know made them forced to fall off of that stack they had on the B side of the map. Now they're a bit, you know, spread thin, and this is definitely going to, you know, help Nexus out. Ooh, and Ye is able to find Naf here, so Nexus looking good on this round. It's now actually a four on three as Rush gets headshot with that CZ onto Ye. So four on three it is. Rush is just going to go straight for the bomb planter, but he has one looking at him. He gets Wade. The bomb went down, though. Rush is putting on the jukes right now, He's keeping himself out of harm's way from Hero Town, but it is a three on one, actually, as Akis and XP3 able to come through. Akis getting the 2K with that USP. They will grab this defuse, yeah. and uh, that will be the pistol over to Elevate. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they suffered an opening pick on the A side of the map and forced them to rotate. Then you saw Nath actually get picked off trying to peek into Long B by himself. He kind of got busted for that, and it was looking a little bit tough, but Rush comes up with the heads up play with the CZ, grabbing a couple of kills, and not only that, buying time for that rotate to come in, which the big piece of that was, in fact, Akis, who, who popped off a couple of nice kills, as you mentioned. So good recovery from Elevate, even though they got off to a tough start. And now they will go up 10 to 6, a great opportunity to go up 12 6 so they can keep that 3 0 pattern. And that'll definitely give them, you know, a, quite a big lead going forward and definitely put them in a comfortable position to close out this map. 
Yeah, looking looking solid here off the start of the second half, and we do have a brief pause here. I think they said somebody's game crashed, so uh, we'll be chilling out here on Cobblestone for a minute. We can look at all the lovely mountains in the background. I mean, it is quite gorgeous here, uh, but uh, regardless, uh, we will be waiting. I mean, we never really, I don't think, definitively said this, Dust, but I mean, do you think tonight is just a straight 2-0 for Elevate? I think we kind of alluded to it, but I don't... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, straight 2-0, yeah. I think that's kind of a given. Uh, I mean, I, I know they did look a little bit shaky in some of the cash games I watched Elevate play, but they were playing up against like top cash teams in the NA, like Cloud9, for example, the Cologne Qualifiers, and Nexus is not Cloud9. So I think, you know, even though cash might have been an issue for them, I think against Nexus uh, they'll be t totally fine. So I think the way the maps went, I'm sure the 2-0 is very, very likely here. I don't think anyone really disagree with that, but we'll talk more about cash once we get there. But they're already off to a good start here on Cobblestone. Yeah, 10 to 6 it is. And, of course, uh, they did just win that pistol, so you would expect two more unless they really kind of beef uh, one of these rounds or if Nexus really pulls off a crazy well, they, uh, eco. But They definitely should get this round. I mean, Nexus isn't going to invest anything into this. They got that first round bomb plants. So they're looking to be conservative here and get those AKs next round. So number 11 should be quite easy for Elevate, but they will get challenged as they go for the 12th whenever those uh, those AKs come out. Right away, Nexus looking for maybe something towards the B side. They have all five players lined up over there, and they just want to kind of go for the straight rush, though they do have uh, a few players from Elevate uh, looking at this B side here. Naf is playing up close with the Nova, and then he's going to throw out a flash. He'll be peeking. He's just staring right at these guys right through the smoke here. He'll launch off a couple of shots, unable to find frags yet, but now he sees them come through. Yay, actually getting a ridiculous shot with the P250 as they storm this B site, but Daps is able to pick up three with the P90. Rush comes to assist his teammate, and they shut it down after that. So 11 to 6 now elevated is... <laughs> Naf. Naf is super salty. To be <laughs> fair, he it's not like he was like making the most brilliant play there, but that was incredibly lucky that he got a jumping headshot on him basically through the edge of the smoke. So that's just like really unfortunate that it happens to Naf. If, if that doesn't happen, he probably does at least get one frag with that Nova up close on that rush. But like I said, the AKs come out, and there was a pretty heavy investment on the shotguns and SMGs here from Elevate. Normally you don't see that when you know those AKs are coming third round. You kind of just go ahead and FAMAS up in anticipation of this. They didn't. They went for the SMG game anyway. Luckily, there's still some close quarter positions you can put these SMGs to use, especially Skyfall. So it may not have too much of an impact, but that's definitely something to take note of that you don't see often. Uh, quite interesting from Elevate. Like you said, but Akis is able to start the round off anyway. Finds Hero Town, so five on four it is, though. Uh, a few players from Elevate, Akis and Naf, actually uh, got, got hit up just a bit off the early start of the round. Regardless, they do have that one-man advantage. GA is really the only guy still over towards the B site for Nexus at the moment. He's just kind of sitting there. They have the bomb dropped in a pretty neutral position right now. Not sure exactly where that's at, but XP3 is trying to push up here, and Frag's flying across for Nexus right now. They pick up three in a matter of a second, and that sets it up at a 2v5 for them as Daps may be meeting up with Ye here in just a second. And Daps going for the jump. He's getting the shots into Ye, but he just taps him. Uh, gives him a little love tap there on the head. So uh, a good round coming out of Nexus. I mean, would you have definitely rather seen Elevate by up there on that round? or? I mean, they had already committed so much to SMGs. I think they wanted to like make sure they didn't completely screw their economy up by upgrading their rifles. But I really think they should have just committed more to rifles in the second round. When you see that first round bomb plant, you got to go ahead and just FAMAS up anticipating those AKs coming round number three, which is exactly what happened. And they just had a bunch of SMGs battling against AKs. And... A lot of mid-range fights, which I mean, the AK is obviously favored there. So yeah, I think they just should have, you know, fought up from Oasis round number two. Not so much upgrade off their SMGs. I think once you make that commitment, you just gotta have to roll with it the next round, and it just didn't work out. It also, just some good plays for Nexus. I mean, they hit some nice shots. I'm not here to bag on Elevate all day. Yeah, the f the, the gun decision might have been something, but it's also just Nexus making some really nice plays in an opening gun round. Uh oh, Rush Ooh. just got back, son. He's done. Later. <laughs> yeah, rip. See ya. Bye. Rip. Uh, Back so, bands. Uh, Robin, please. Well, please, please help please, us. Please, Robin. Volvo. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, uh, well, I'm just they, kidding, guys. Yeah. Don't go out there and make some Reddit thread about how Rush got Vac live during a yeah. game that didn't actually happen. Just calm down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we It's <laughs> funny, but I don't, want to, I don't want us to go down that road where people have these false cheating accusations. Yeah, no. We've already said... seen what those can do. Those witch hunts, man. They can be tough. 
yeah, uh, pretty brutal. Uh, well, that kind of set Elevate up at down a player to start things off. He just had the authentication error or whatever. So a bit un- unfortunate for Elevate. Uh, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, I'm reading, uh, I'm reading a chat and uh, giggling a little bit. But we are looking at uh, 11 to 7. It is a 4v4 on this round. Yeah, got uh, hit by somebody. Hey, he's hiding in the corner just outside of the mid. And uh, you got your with the drone exchange on him. Wade was able to find Nap from over on that balcony side. So XP3 inside of the site grabs two with the Famasi as Wade wrapping around though, and he will be able to take care of him. So it's now a one versus one Wade going up against Daps, who has a little bit of an HP advantage here, and he's closing straight in onto the site. Throws the flash out. Could be a beautiful one, but Daps wins it with the headshot from down below and takes that round for Elevate going up 12 to 7 now. Yeah, I mean, well done. I mean, that's definitely like Elevate starting a man down with that that uh, authentication error from Rush that puts them in an instant 4v5. They trade it immediately, though, into a 4v4, and then they play it out, and it goes back and forth to the 1v1, but Daps comes up with it, and so he holds it off. So good response from Elevate. I mean, they lost, I guess, technically the opening come around. The AKs came out from Nexus in the third round of the half, but they fight right back despite, you know, the, the big handicap of losing a player, and they get the round, and now they're up 12-7. They're... I mean, Nexus is still going to be able to put together some type of buy here, but it's it's strained. And if Elevate can win here, Nexus isn't going to have much to work with when Elevate goes to round number 14. So they definitely kind of have Nexus up against the ropes at this point economically. Granted, Elevate's economy is also kind of tough at this point. It's been reset. So if if Nexus can get a win here, they might be able to force Elevate onto a save. So it, it's fragile economies for both teams. You know, so this could be a, a pretty pivotal round for these guys. Uh, just economically speaking anyway, but they do say Rush is on the way back into the server, so we should be able to resume here shortly. Like Dust said, it is 12 to 7, Elevate just, uh, you know, four rounds out from closing out the first map, and uh, in case you didn't get the scoop from earlier, we do have Cash coming up next, and then if we need a third and final map, we will head on over to Inferno. Uh, so that's kind of what we're looking at long term here, but we had kind of said we think this is going to go 2-0, um, and I think Rush is still having some issues getting back in here, so we may have just uh, a little bit longer until we can uh, figure out uh, what the dealio is. Yeah, not not sure. Hopefully, yeah. it'll Rip. be uh, fixed up here pretty soon. Yeah, we can only that hope. Is the goal. That is Just the goal. <laughs> save us. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't know. We're we're trying to figure out what's going on. Once when when we hear things, we relay them to you. And right now, we know absolutely nothing. So. Uh, it's I, like I, you every day at any given situation. Well, yeah, it? that's. <laughs> I mean, when we're talking about Counter Strike, what do I know? I don't know shit. Uh, no, that I, was I mean. do. Know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't uh, help it though. When you when you give me an opening like that, <laughs> I feel like I have to strike. You know. Well, the thing is, I don't, I don't deny that I don't uh, that I'm I'm. Don't I'm don't do that. Dumb. Just 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 just. I want you to. It's all about confidence, man. Just repeat after me. I. Gex. Oh, okay. Uh, you're gonna make me say something stupid, aren't you? No, I'm not. All right, Dust. We'll we'll play along for a second. I Gex <laughs> can do this. Oh, that's nice. I can do this. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Just actually. do it, Gex. <laughs> Just do it. I'd start screaming, but I don't think people would. Uh, I think that might hurt people's Just ears. So chase know. your dreams, dude. I make them dreams, real. My dreams are dead. Rush isn't in the server. The dream is dead. Right now, for the time being, I actually my... almost just full out broke into like that Shia LaBeouf video thing, but I don't <laughs> think this stream could handle it with their ears bleeding everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our producer saying Volvo, please. I agree. Uh, uh, please, please. Volvo, my goodness. Well. We do have a little bit here. Where you get to enjoy the stylings of uh, myself yeah. and Dustin. I'm just right reading chat. If you guys got some questions in chat, anything like that you want to throw down, any type of discussions. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you can you can tell us that uh, we look good. Oh, well, mainly me. I don't know about Dust, but uh, yeah, definitely tell me good. I look good. <laughs> Thank God. You know, you know how it goes. No, I. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna bring up the chat too. Why don't we go? Let's let's have a look look see while we have some time here. We're just gonna meander around and meander around. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah just enjoy it. 
We got chat doing it. See, chat's trying to pep you up, man. So you just need to, you know, take a look at chat and just uh, have them motivate you. When has that ever happened in the history of esports, by the way, when a chat is motivating you rather than just like (laughs) being eight? So I I feel like this is a great (laughs) revolution in esports chat right now in this room. Mm -hmm. And I think you need to read up and and just gain some confidence, man. You know, I I think I missed some of it. I I don't see any more. Uh, any more Sorry. words of encouragement? I believe it though. Somebody's asking if uh, somebody's Jewish. Uh, I'm not, <laughs> but uh, I'm not either. Yeah, so sorry to kill your dreams there. If you had a dream of us being Jewish, I don't know. That's really. I don't think that's really a dream as much as it was just a question. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think maybe you read too yeah. much into that. Yeah, maybe a little. I don't know. Uh, In fact, Gex is actually a prisoner. Um, I am. <laughs> But luckily, but now, thanks to our are good now. yeah, thanks to our friends over at Sevo, get that yeah. plug in there. I no longer live. <laughs> I don't in think it's jail. really a plug. It's not like it's a sponsor. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, we are it's just the company I work for. You know, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, thanks to them, I uh, I no longer live in a dungeon. At least you can't tell or prison, as they say. It's uh, I, I live in a nice studio now. That it looks like. Very Same with the studio. Oh yeah, yeah. The shower that's... curtain behind you. <laughs> <laughs> People are wondering what the heck we're talking about. I'm not even sure anymore. I think we're just we're, we have a delay in the match, unfortunately. We figured maybe you, you'd rather hear two idiots chat about nothing than uh, than stare at an idle screen with with no talking. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, you can tell us you hate us if you you know. Dus Moret, did you hear about the guy whose left side was cut off? He's all right. What? I have Some no s- idea, X-Fire. I have no idea. I have Somebody's no idea left what you're talking about. side was cut. I have no clue. That was really weird. It thanks, was, Chet. Split them in half. You can all thank X-Fire for that one. He ruined it. Jeez, thanks, X-Fire. Oh and we had a nice positive chat. They were pep talking to you. They were motivating you. And, uh, and then we had that happen. That's unfortunate. You know, it's, this, is, this is the problem with eSports right here. Let me tell you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> there's many bigger ones uh in case you are just joining us though we are just like i said we have a pause and map on between elevate and nexus and we'll get right back into it as soon as we can then of course later on tonight we have mortality taking on venom this is all season eight pro league placement stuff tonight trying to see who will join some of our top teams in the season eight pro league as uh, it's gonna be pretty cool you know it's like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar prize pool for season eight pro league land uh taking place in the mlg arena in november uh, so just, you know, every single season kicking it up a notch, improving the prize pool, bringing in, you know, better teams and more teams, including even more folks in all the festivities. So it's really cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You got to love it, man. Uh, keeping keep driving the scene forward, the NA scene. Uh, we're bringing coverage to you, you know, every night, basically. Always got good stuff. So be checking in frequently with us over here. You get to see people like get to see people like me and Dust yell at some video games and you get to watch your favorite video games. We had a question in chat. We had a question in chat come in. I like this one. JJ Pepperoni. It's a great name. Great name. Great player. Uh, Asks, what are your thoughts on Mexico versus Canada where Canada is throwing the game? Uh, First of all, I don't think anyone's throwing, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that one out there. Second of all, I don't think this makes sense to me. I don't know. It is. It's kind of weird. Because I, I feel like no one's going to be able to take it really seriously, this World Championship thing, when all these guys are playing on pro-level teams for the most part. Uh, so you're basically splitting up teams and just trying to make like an all-star team for a particular country, even though like maybe some of the all-stars or best players can't even commit to playing on that nation's team for the tournament. And so I think it's like a cool concept, but at the same time, I feel like you can't really get the best quality Counter-Strike out of it whenever these guys obviously have other things they're probably more concerned with that take up more of their time and more of their focus than the world championships or whatever. So my point is, I don't think you can be too shocked or surprised by any result in this tournament, just because obviously people's heads are in different directions, you know, um, people, I, not that I disregarded what you said, but people think I'm like blasted or something in chat. Is what they're <laughs> saying. They think I'm like stoned. They think I'm drunk. I don't know. You're not. It is. Coach. I know you were drinking some Evan Williams Shut before the cast started. Oh, yeah, I let that uh, one go. Yeah. Right, that was right. <laughs> That's right. Who doesn't? You know, cast is like G, I noticed you, a little lubricated. You know, uh, 
but uh yeah no i'm i'm not i'm not blasted that's that's after this is over uh <laughs> you know <laughs> when i when i deal with these pauses and things you know i need to wind down for a little but uh <laughs> <laughs> i like this one gex one dollar earbuds dust extension <laughs> studio headset are those apple earbuds don't lie to me uh, they are because don't. oh oh because, my god no 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 no, no. <laughs> because because my siberia v2 did you broke. not read red eyes book on esports casting i think he made like a specific mention of not wearing apple earbuds inside uh, that book it's a great uh, book by the way if, if you guys want to read something about casting red eye released a book a couple of days ago about esports casting it's really cool stuff check it out on red eyes twitter it's free pretty cool stuff anyway that plugs over this guy I, yeah. go ahead and explain yourself go ahead well Apple okay earbuds. so i had i had my siberia v2s at school you know i was using those puppies <laughs> And then I got, uh, I don't know, actually, I don't know what the hell happened to them. They just broke or something. I may have gotten pissed, but, uh, so they were broken and then I just never went back into it and got new ones. So I'm chilling with these. I've been, see, I've been looking for a good new headset, but I don't want to go for the V3s. I was thinking about some Sennheisers, you know, I'm, I'm doing my research right now. So until then, we're going to deal with these. have an apart. audio sponsor, so I, I don't have anyone to plug here, but yeah, Sennheiser's pretty legit. Sennheiser, you want to sponsor us, you know? Hooking yeah, you up a little yeah. bit. Someone asked me why I'm living in a, in a black void. Uh, it's just, you know, I like, I like casting from my bathroom. Shower behind me, you know. <laughs> you know. What can you say? <laughs> it is what it is. Needs to take a shower in the middle of the match, you know. Why not? Freshen up a bit. Uh, but I think uh, I, I had a, I had somebody telling us to go ahead and take a little break here for just a bit. So uh, yeah. we're going to go ahead, cut her off for right now. We'll go ahead, take it to a break because I think they have to do a match medic and some other things. I'm not oh, sure exactly boy. what the deal is. So uh, I think it's going to be just a little bit yet. So we're going to go ahead, take a quick one, and uh, we'll be back with you guys here shortly. So stay tuned. See you in a few minutes. All right, folks, welcome back. We are headed into, well, mm -hmm. we're continuing on with our second half yeah. here. It's uh, 12 to 7. Uh, uh, we're back into it. Rush is here, and we're happy. Yep, and we took a break. Gex got blasted. Now we're good to go, yep. right? So, yep, I, mean, I am. Oh, man. <laughs> Just let's go. Be honest, I'm ready to go for the second half, baby. All right, here we go. That was a chat reference, by the way. We'll yeah, take it in case you missed it. Yeah. <laughs> in case <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, here we go. We're uh, we're into the uh, we're into the well. We've been in the second half, and they're trying to push this B site right now. Nexus's drone got taken out. They found Naps as well. Naps is in here. Elevate with a couple of frags, but uh, Sabre was able to grab up on XP3, and uh, it's just flip flopping frags back and forth here. But regardless, we are up with Wade in a one versus two here. He only has 19 health. He's got to deal with Rush and Akis. It's a tall order. He has the bomb in his hands, but both of them are lurking around right inside of the site here. If Akis peeks. Uh, Wade is screwed. Does he actually sneak all the way past these guys and go away? That would be so sick. Now he actually just decides to take the frag instead. Oh. Get caught. That would have been so nuts if he just like doesn't kill Rush there and just walks into the A bomb site and plants the bomb. That would have been insane. Yeah. But that was just Nexus, you know, trying to run into the B bomb site. Just a quick rush and they ran into a mountain. You see what I did there? It's a little bit more oh. subtle. A little yeah, bit more yeah, gotcha. Man, you are yeah. full. You're the jokester tonight. I, actually, it's really old. I think I've made so many different mountain and avalanche references to Elevate's logo over the years that I've probably, you know, really just beat the dead horse a lot there. But we do have Nexus on an eco rush trying to come up the mid slope, but they're going to run into Aegis's M4 here. We're going to be able to crap a couple of frags. Guy from Long A tries to trade him out, but he's able to fall back and XP3 chimes in as well. So just an eco rush getting thwarted quite easily here from Elevate. They'll be up 14 to 7. This match might be over here pretty soon unless we see them come up with something on the Nexus side of things right now. Yeah, Elevate certainly uh, looking looking good and I think Naf's gonna stick on that uh, that shoddy there, so he's gonna try for it again. He tried with the Nova earlier, wasn't uh, wasn't too successful. Actually, got pieced by a P250 on a jumping shot. But uh, we do have Nexus up with full AKs, and they're uh, kind of going in right here. Uh, there's four of their players with $150 or less after buying right here. So uh, you know they do have a nice setup for this round, but maybe hurting after this if they don't win it here. So. We do have the bomb uh, over towards this B side as well as a couple other players, but Elevate's got three of their own on this uh, on this B side. 
Yeah, they have a good defense set up here. They also have two committed long A, but we see Hero Town being able to make it up danger and grab XP3 in the side. So nice opening pick, but Akis has pushed through long A. So he can get behind these guys over here at mid if he plays his cards right. And like I said, they already have a good setup to defend against this B attack, which might be coming in momentarily through Skyfall. Ooh, Wade has Wade has an idea there might be a flank going on here. He's, he's looking for Akis, but I think he might get caught out here, and he does. Akis is able to find him, and it's now three versus four. Is Akis actually picks up two, found Savior as well. So in a four on three it is, Hero Town's able to actually exchange that out to make it a three on three. As we see, the bomb is still lurking on this B side, but Nexus hasn't decided to push fully yet naps all the way down the B long trying to do something with a shoddy from range but uh hero town working a rush just hops off the ledge naf getting one with his shoddy there's up as well that mag seven almost got two actually but uh right. drone now one versus two with that bomb yeah he's been able to get into the B bomb side however uh we do have dats who has rotated right behind the tree here and rush has already made his way into skyfall and oh, he'll try to plant and daps is just right here to meet up with them i guess he was hoping that daps had already you know made the rotation to the a side but and that was just Nexus just kind of spread thin. You know, they were all across the map. You have Akis cutting off some of those guys on the A side of the map. Uh, you have Naf putting up the hold on the long B. I mean, just good positioning from Elevate and uh, able to get the frags. And Nexus still not even able to put a real comfortable buy even here. You know, just on a bunch of Galils and a Tech 9. So it's definitely tough times for Nexus, but they have to win out from this point forward just to force an overtime. So it's definitely a rough spot to be in here for Next Esports, and this could be over quite soon. Already this mid attack Ooh. getting shut down very, very well by XP3. They got a good Molly in there, and XP3 and Akis both able to pick up on one. Hero Town does grab Akis as he starts to move and try and meet up with his teammates inside a mid rush. Gets one. Actually, Nexus came back with a couple of frags, but it is now stuck at a two on two as Daps and Naf going up against Hero Town and Ye, and they are trying to work into the A site right now. Nexus is, but uh, Daps is over and actually grabs both of them through Damn. the wooden uh, that wooden That's wall there. Shot. That was indeed a nice shot, and that sets Elevate up with a win on map one, 16 to 7. Yeah, and I don't think we're too surprised by this. I mean, when you look at the matchup, you kind of always expected Elevate to have an easy time here. They're, they're definitely a team that is completely different than the Elevate you saw struggle last season in, in the Season 7 Pro League and get knocked down to this placement tournament. We've already seen them do some big things, even at the Cologne qualifiers. They didn't qualify, but they made it to the top four of that tournament against some really good competition uh, within the NA scene. So... Like I said, this was to be expected. We did see them struggle a little bit there for a period of time in the first half on T side where they started to get kind of shut down a little bit. But they got their act together and they closed out the map in a pretty one-sided fashion. And now we will move on momentarily to DE Cash, which was, in fact, Nexus's pick. And uh, we'll see if it all ends there, if, if Nexus can force a map three. But we will take a bit of a break. But when we come back, we'll have that second map for you. So definitely stay tuned.